Hey there. Alright, I'm just about to start inking on the second half of Eight House Yaris, issue 5. Um, this is the second half of the story, and I had to take a break in the middle of it to colour the first issue. So I'm back in, ready to ink. <coughs> I've got all my pages ready. And there's quite a few, there's almost 10 pages or so that I've prepared. So we're about to do an inaugural breaking the ground ceremony and start inking on a page. I usually like to, I wouldn't be comfortable normally doing this, but uh, we'll try it out. I'll see how, I, how I, uh, I go. Usually I'm more comfortable inking at the end of the day rather than sort of first thing like this. Anyway, I'm going to start with this very complex, it's meant to be the back of issue one if we decide to use it, it's the back of issue one as part of the cover. And uh, yeah, good luck picking all that up. Helen's our photographer, as usual. I'm going to rotate it because I feel more comfortable when I'm upside down inking because I don't think about it, and that's the main reason I do it. So just to get this ink moving through the nib, I'm just going to. I always have a piece of paper on my hand to protect the artwork, and I want to make sure it's not going to pick up. So I'm rotating it, and I'm going to just start somewhere and see how we go. And if I make a big mess. You get to see it. That scratching is the scratching of the steel nibs separating and catching itself. Is it, is it, so this is how many times I have to dip, by the way, so you get to see. And I just made a, a, a little mistake there. This is why you have tissue on hand. OK. Back to it. Um, I always try and get the things that overlap first, so this bit of this bit of um, claw or whatever, what did you call it, a face, face claw? So I want to get that first because the arm's going to go underneath it of the creature. So basically we're just going through an inking and I'll, I'll clean things up. I'm a bit wobbly there so I'm not too happy with that. So the difficulty of working around the camera. There you go, it's a bit sharper. I'll fix that up a little bit later. And I run out of ink. And this is old school. This is how I used to do it on uh, all the comics that I used to do in the 80s, including Zooniverse. This is my thicker nib. So this is my sort of establishing shape nib. The detailing nib comes next. Uh, that's this thick. So here's the two nibs next to each other. So this is my detailing nib, this one here. And then I have a sign writer's brush, which these tools are all 30 years old. So this sign writer's brush has seen better days. It's got a really wobbly little tip there. That's very hard for me to use. But eventually I want to get a replacement when I have enough money. I didn't have enough money to buy new tools or new paper. This is actually new paper here. but um, So I've had to make do with all the old stuff I had left from uh, Zooniverse years. So we're going to go around this guy with the thicker nib and just establish everything. Say again, Tom? Old ink. Yeah, there's old ink from America that actually has travelled. These nibs and things have travelled with me to, to America, back from America to Australia. They've made that round about three times now. Uh, and they're my favourites. Yeah, I just scratched up that. And... I'm sort of working in my own shadow, so I might actually move the light that way a bit. So this is the long-winded, painstaking process of inking by hand, not on a computer. And I think I will nearly smash it. I think that should be enough, don't you? Go for a bit more and see how it... A face? All right. I'm just trying to get my confidence up. Let's do the top of this arm for starters. And you can see there's a reservoir of ink right there, so you've got to be careful not to sort of smudge that in any way. So you've got to let that dry out and run out of ink again. Yeah, uh, eventually we'll get a better camera, so we'll be able to do this a bit more clearly with the tripod so it's not so shaky. Uh, we don't have the money for that right now, but when we do, we will definitely um, invest 
in something a bit more stable. This is the best we can do for now, so you'll have to bear with us because we're not doing too well. We do comics full time, Helen and I, so we don't have a lot of money to throw around. It's not as lucrative as everyone seems to think it is. Not by a long shot. Well, we're not. We're doing better than some people, but we're not. You know, you can't get extra extras like cameras and things like that. Or, or you really have to save up for. Mm. Yeah. So, bit of a. We don't live in our mummy's basement, no. We might have to, if this doesn't work out, if you don't buy our comic. Yes. There's plenty of cardboard boxes with our name on it. Uh, let's see. I'm a bit wobbly there, I'm not happy with that. So my, my thing is I want to do, I always do faces upside down generally because it helps me have a, an extra level of confidence, which I don't have if I... You'll see I'm avoiding it. I'm not yet confident enough to struggle with this face. We'll get there. Yeah, I'm not ready for that ring either. Yeah, I'm done. Alright. So, thank you to the patrons who've helped me out. It's been fantastic. Um, I hope that uh, everything you're getting is, is what you need, what you need to see. Please let me know if there's more shows, more ideas, things that I'm working on you want to see more of, and I will definitely accommodate you. I'm very interested in, in pursuing the Patreon direction. It makes a lot of sense to me. And we'll show that when it's more finished. And we'll, you'll see it on the back of the first issue if, it, if Brandon... Brandon's approved it, but I'm not sure if I want to use it just yet. But um, you will definitely see it at some point. But the Patreons have already seen it, and you'll see the finished version on, on Patreon as well. Okay, cool. Thank you for everything. Yeah. Bye. Bye.